Hello, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing great on this Wednesday. Jane Engloid here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk, coming at you with this boot camp. So today we have a pretty similar workout to what we have been doing. So it can be a uh, three exercises, three rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, with a little water break, followed by another round, three exercises, three rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead, explain our first one. So the first we're gonna do is gonna be forward, back, or lunges. So we're gonna be right here, lunging out, one, two, and then one, two, back. We're doing this in our quads, glutes, hamstrings, working on our balance, the lunges, changing direction, going forward and back. So that's our first one. And then next we're gonna do is gonna be prone T's. So we're gonna be down on our mat, forehead into the mat right here. And we're just gonna have our thumbs up and we're just engaging our core, pushing to the ground, and raising our thumbs up to the sky and back down, trying to think about squeezing our back, shoulder blades together, thumb up in the sky. There's our second one, and third. For the first round, we're going to do eccentric push ups and a little hole at the bottom. So, hands under our shoulders. We're just going to go down one, two, three, hold for a second and reset. A couple options for these. You can also go up your knees. One, two, three, hold, reset. Hands are doing really good today. Go ahead, push yourself up. That's great too. So that's our first one. Be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, three rounds. But before we start that, I'm going to get us thanks for a little warm up. So we're going to be starting in the quad jump position. So knees, hands down, knees under our hips, hands under our shoulders. We're going to be doing some pad and pad. So we push our stomach in. We want to move forward for our cow. We're going to inhale into our cat, pushing our back up to the ceiling. And then inhale and back into our cow. Pushing our belly into the floor, but the back up in the air, but the head up to the And back into the cat. Take a deep breath here. Back into the cow. One more deep breath. Pushing her back up to the ceiling. And good. All right, now we'll get up to the standing position. Good here. So now, we're going to be doing a little side lunges, stationary, so we're keeping our feet locked in. We're not moving at all. Hands down by our thighs in front of us. We're just going to go sit one way, keep this leg nice and straight, try to keep our toes pointing forward, and back and forth. Then you stretch through this leg, sitting into the hip. Good. Keeping that other leg nice and straight, looking forward. One more. And good. All right, last thing we do is world's greatest stretch, then we'll get into it. So go ahead, pull our knees to our chest, lunge back, hands to the floor. Open up to that same leg, look up to the sky. Or two, should be in right here. Now we just got that right foot. Lunge back to the chest, your hamstring. And reset. So grab our knee again, grab our other knee. Lunge back, hands to the inside of our foot. And then rotate up, back to the outside. Let's stretch it out, clean that neck. On the two on the other side. So grab right into my knee, punch back, 
Leg back and straight. Hands inside our foot. Rotate, look up to the sky. Place it beyond the foot. Lunge back. Get your set. One more. So grab an arm, step our knee. Lunge back. Leg back and straight. Hands inside our foot. Rotate, look to the sky. Push it down that foot. Stand back. All right, good job. Give everyone just a second. Got a little bit of bargaining. Sometimes warm up your feel. Like a little workout itself. All right, um, back on the mat. We're near it. Get ready. Remember, start with forward lunges. Two forward, two reverse. 40 seconds. So everyone ready? Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. One, two, step back and tall. And then it doesn't matter if you look backward. Make sure you just do one of each leg. And two. For these, pushing out our heel, big toe, little toe. Staying up nice and tall. Keep your core locked in the whole time. Be like your hamstring, quad, butt. Stay up, torso nice and tall. Not falling forward. Or lean back. Keep our core engaged. We'll do two more forward. And good. All right, next, we have our prone T's. So we're down the mat. We're gonna work on our back of our shoulders and our mid back. So, arms drop to the side like this, thumbs are up, and go. So, think about squeezing our mid back together, our shoulder blade right here. Think about there's some kind of object in there, trying to squeeze it tight, tight. Thumbs up to the sky. Perfect. Squeezing our floor. Feeling like we're engaging our mid back. We don't want to be flinging our arms up. We want to be feeling our shoulder and back, like I said. Five more seconds. And good. Not too bad, all right? All right, now. We're going to be our eccentric push ups and holds. So, again, for your knees or in plank position, hands screwed in. And we're in three, two, one. So, down one, two, three, hold, reset. Three, two, one, hold, reset. Ready? Three, two, one, pull, reset, then keep going, keep our core engaged, don't let us slash down our fits, keep nice and strong. Three, two, one, pull, reset. Three, two, one, pull, and good. All right, next first round, two more of those. Remember, starting with our forwards and backward lunges. If these are hard for you today, you can always be ahead in a split squat right here. The lunges aren't feeling good. So let's go ahead and get started. So forward, pushing out a big to a little toe, to heel, and back. Stay nice and tall. Sit like Claws are on fire. Really good focus. I'm staying nice and tall. Our back is on right here. So I know for me, I want to have to fall forward doing those. Just something to pick up on. We're good on those. Now down on the back again to our prone teeth. Now that you're tired on these, try to not let our full, uh, try to keep our entire body down, right? Not letting our 
by his own back shoulders. So go ahead, the thumbs up. Squeeze your back together. Slow the arms to the ground. Think about stretching our thumbs. Oh, uh, that would be crazy mobility. No, we can do that. But it's something to think about. Squeeze your back together. See how close we can get our thumbs. One more. Good. All right, next, we're back to our push ups with the hold. And the more tired this round, the number. Zip up the core, keep it nice and tight. We don't want to get slouchy. So, ready? Core back and strong, hands under our shoulders. Three, two, one, hold, set. Three, two, one, hold, reset. Then I'm working our chest, shoulders, triceps, core, all that. Three, two, one, reset. I've got the hold. Sorry. Three, two, one, hold, reset. One more. Three, two, one, hold. And reset. Good. All right, now back to the last round of lunges. See if we can get more reps this round. Then we did our last two while still keeping up nice and tall or engaged with good form. More reps, keeping good form. All right, ready? Go. So one, two. Stay up nice and tall. Change the direction. Place my toes to the ground, drive it out, big toe, little toe, heel, right of the toes. Push them strong out of the squat, stay nice and tall, driving our toes to the ground, almost reverse on this. Two more more lunges, we're good. One. Two. All right. Good job. Last round of front tees. So down on that. This one, we don't need to try to get more reps. Just really still focusing on engaging our back and squeezing. So go ahead. One, two. Thumbs to the sky. Arms stay nice and straight. Back down. We got to squeeze in our core, keep our body in a nice, strong, straight line. Squeeze our shoulder blades, press the hands together, back down. Learn so how to engage these muscles in our back. Good. One more. Mm, good. All right, now the last round push ups. If you want to try, go ahead and repeat this time underneath. Totally okay to mix and match if we can't do the full time from our regular plank positions. We can always drop to our knees. So I'm going to try to feel as far I go on my feet. So we're up. Three, two, one, pull, reset. Three, two, one, Hold, reset. Three, two, one, hold, set. So I'm trying to make the hold now. I'm going to go to my knees. Hands next locked in. Three, two, one, hold, reset. Two more. Three, two, one, hold, reset. Last one. Three, two, one, hold, and good. All right, if you need to, grab a little water. Let's get to rehydrate. Well, 
While I do that, I'll start explaining our next circuit. So first, we're going to have single leg foot bridges. So we're on our back right here, feet in a nice comfortable position. Doesn't have to be anywhere like that. We have one leg up, and then push it out of this heel, grab your arm heel. We're just going to grab the foot to the push on this heel. Coming up, trying to make a nice straight line from our shoulder, hip, to our knee. So that's going to be our first one. And as always, if this is hard, it's a pretty tough one. We can always work on just doing two legs at a time. We're really focusing on squeezing our core and glutes. You don't want to be feeling this in our hands here. We'll be feeling it in our butt. So that's going to be our first one. Next, we're going to have uh, Oh yeah, kneeling to single arm plank, or plank, single arm reach. So right here, core flex engage. I'll show from this angle. Core flex engage. And we're just reaching up one at a time, showing this angle because we want to keep our hips and shoulders pointing straight ahead. We don't want to push ball to one side. Bumping okay, everything looking straight ahead. So now, last one we're going to do, so that's 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Last one we're going to do is going to be five feet. So if you have a mat or a line, something to use, this one's going to be 30 seconds because it's kind of a difficult one. We're just going to go up and over and back as fast as we can for 30 seconds. So not 40 seconds, 10 seconds left. Let's really push ourselves and go all out. That's going to be our last one. So, we start again. Loop bridges, single leg or double leg, whatever we did today. And then kneeling plank with an arm extension, then fire feet. So, everyone, we'll get down on the ground, arm down to the side. And we can always uh, go from single leg to two legs on these loop bridges. And if we get tired, Everything just making sure to do the same amount of reps on each side. So, everyone ready? We can start in three, two, and one. So, setting up, straight line here, core, bust, engage, and back down. Straight line, and down. Inhale as we go up. Exhale, lay down. If we're doing single leg, make sure to switch it out in 20 seconds. Inhale and load up, squeezing this glute and core. And down. One more. Squeeze. Ooh, bring it down. All right, good. All right, now we're into our uh, kneeling planks with arm extension. So this is kind of set up right here. We just don't want to rotate one side. Keep our core engaged, nice and strong the whole time. And go. So really have to focus on engaging our core to not fall to one side. And to make this harder, we can walk our hands further out, stretch out our core a little more. But still, try to keep our shoulders, hips facing forward the whole time. We want to control this reach. We don't want to be out jerky like this. Slow and controlled and good. All right, last one number is 30 seconds. Five feet. Last we can. All out. Forward and back. So ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, one. So stay looking forward. Get those arms moving. We're only doing 30 seconds. We can push ourselves here. I know it's a hard one. Halfway there. Just looking up. Pump the arm. 
Five more seconds. Two and one. Good job. All right, now we have 30 seconds of rest. Woo! Get ready. Back to the bridges. So remember, squeezing our core and glutes or butt on this one. Slight pause at the top and lower down slow. So I'll let you come on out 20 seconds. Let your weight take the leg, switch legs, and go. Lower slow. Power up. Squeezing the glute, core. We're going to squeeze more. We'll be correct. Keep the straight line as we get more tired. Switch legs to the single leg. You can notice I get balances here. If one hip wants to come up further than another, squeeze. And good. All right, we're almost there. Fire feet. Starting in 10 seconds. Got to burn off. That extra long weekend, 4th of July celebration. Time to get back on track. We're on three, two, one. Up the arms. Put them straight ahead. See if we can get more repetitions this round, last round. Go. Spread up. Just check the time. Ten more seconds. Push it. Go. Three, two, and one. All right, good. One more round. Nice long rest here. Again, good blue bridges. Both my single leg is really tired, so I'm gonna go two this time. Really focusing on squeezing the core, squeezing the glute to the top, lowering down nice and so control. So ready? Three, two, one. Squeeze up. Down oh, slow. Making sure I still have that line check. This is the last round. Getting tired. Making sure I'm feeling the glutes. Not these hamstrings. Do that 20 more seconds. So switch legs and do a single leg. Slight pause at the top. Good. One more. Squeeze. Lower that outside. So good. All right now. That seems to get this name down. Kneeling plank, one arm extension, last round. So we got our hands out, position we're challenging our core, stay nice and forward, and we go. Looking straight down. Core is nice and engaged the entire time. Woo. Really have folks here locking it in. Or else you'll see me falling to one side. Slow reach. Good. One more second. Lock down that core. Two and one. Good. All right, last round. Five feet. Last thing we're doing, so we can push ourselves as hard as we can. Right, ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Sorry, folks, moving fast. Staying on our toes, slight bend in our knees. Arms moving with us. Let's go halfway there. Right up, 
Ten seconds, finish strong. Three, two, and one. Woo! Good work, everyone. Hope everyone enjoyed that workout. As much as I did. Now, we got a couple minutes. We do go for a quick cool down. We set our heart rate. Strap the shot a little bit of what we just worked. At the first, take a couple breaths. Get the water. When you're ready, we're going to be on the mat on our backs. First thing we're going to do is just uh, squeezing our hands, shooting our knee into our chest. Feeling the stretch of our hip flexor right here, keeping this leg nice and flat on the ground. And from here, we're going to try to rotate this hip out, keeping this back shoulder on the ground, and just seeing how close we can get this knee to the ground, feeling the stretch in this hip right here. Take some deep breaths. We did a lot of glutes between our bridges and lunges. So making sure these are nice and stretched out after that. It's not a bad idea. All right, good. We go ahead and switch sides. You can see the other side. So squeezing this leg in, tight as we can. Really upset, feeling the stretch. And this hip flexor. And we're not going to feel it unless we pull really tight into our chest, keep this leg flat and pat on the ground. Good. And from here, go ahead to this direction, to this side. This knee tries to come close to the ground. This arm stays out. Keep our shoulders flat on the floor. Trying to stretch out this hip right here. And good. All right, now we have time for one more. So we'll do a classic child pose. So we're we'll just back our uh, up to our heels right here and just falling forward, laying our head and down to the mat, stretching out our lats, shoulders, low back, then we get that in this. Good. And then we want to rotate side to side. Really doing this stuff in a lot now. Very good. All right. So that just about all the time we have today. Hope you guys all enjoyed this workout. Um, again, Jay Enclay, health fitness specialist with Exos and Autodesk. I do this, teach 11 o'clock stretch breaks, Wednesday and Thursday, and this boot camp. 12 o'clock on Wednesdays, as well as exercise and exos, 12 o'clock tomorrow, Thursday. So hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you guys in some more classes. All right, have a good one.